Hello friends and uh, welcome. Today I have for you this uh, beautiful Chinese fountain pen from my collection. It is a modern uh, Chinese fountain pen and its name is Bauer 388. Why do I say modern? Because it has a familiar shape. It's practically a copy of the 2003 model of the Parker Sonnet. It's uh, not a fake, it's just a copy because um, we don't see any imprints of the Parker brand on it. It uh, is made in this beautiful uh, lac finish. It has a metallic body, the barrel and the cap. And it uh, has uh, this um, beautiful gold trimmings on the cap. As always, we will start with the cap. So you can see the cap is made of the same uh, black lacquer. We have this interesting clip gold plated clip on it it has the shape of the parker arrow it ends in this uh, point the arrow point and on the other um, side we have the feathers on the top of the cap we have this beautiful gold dome which ends at the top in a black jewel The cap has this gold plated band and on it we have Bauer imprinted and 388 the number. The cap is friction fit as you can see and it makes this click sound when we close it and we continue with the barrel which is uh, the same uh, beautiful uh, black lacquer and at the end of the barrel we don't have the gold jewel present on the cap it just simply ends in this dome shape okay now we have the grip section which is uh, plastic, black plastic. It ends with this gold plated ring and with this nib. It is a steel nib, gold plated in two tones. It has written on it Bauer. At the end, and we have a simple feed, a plastic feed. And it has written on it a uh, 5. I think that uh, in time this golden ring will be affected. And uh, when you ink it up, please make sure that uh, you clean it thoroughly with uh, tissue. And this way um, the ink won't remain on the gold ring and um, corrode it in time. You can see that the grip section ends in this uh, gold uh, ring and interesting the barrel unscrews onto the section with metal threads. I simply love that they make this part out of metal and not out of plastic because it's more durable and resistant we can see this ink converter which we can pull out this is an international size ink converter it is uh, even branded it says Bauer on it and as I told you it is an international standard so 
if we have a cartridge, an international cartridge, we will see that it fits quite easily. But uh, for my writing sample, I will use this ink converter because I find it uh, more uh, practical. You can see it has a, such a large capacity of um, ink, but um, it's uh, quite uh, sufficient. It's like a cartilage. Let's see a cartilage. Yes, so it's even, um, it has a smaller capacity than an international size ink cartilage. So keep that in mind. It's a small, small ink converter. Okay, let's put it back. It fits quite well. And now I will put the barrel section in it because I want to do a side-by-side -side comparison with other models of phantom pens. So this is the Bauer. 388 and next to it I will put a Parker Sonnet the original Parker Sonnet from 2007 another Parker Sonnet from 2003 a Lamy 2000 Okay, uh, Mont Blanc 144 from 1983 and the Pelican Souverain M800 from 1987. Okay, so there you have it. The pens side by side. I will leave the measurements of the Bauer 388 on the screen. And next, we will have the writing sample. So this will be our writing sample. I will use as usual the Parker Queen King. Give it a OK. Quickly, I will uh, fill it with uh, ink. As you can see, we draw the ink. It's sufficient for our writing sample. Put back this barrel. Close the ink bottle. And I think we are ready for the writing sample. So this is the Bauer. Eight three three model. It is um, made in China. It is a copy. of the Parker Sonnet model from 2003, the 2003 model of the Sonnet. It um, has a ink converter international size but you can also use ink cartridges on it it has this steel nib 
it is gold plated uh, two tone nib I believe it's an um, medium nib and um, it has no flex on it let me show you so you can see no flex on it those are some lines it has um, a bit of a problem with the ink flow but I think that uh, this is because it hasn't been inked in such a long long time you can see that um, let's do some more lines yes it's um, it writes um, good uh, this was my uh, small review of this elegant elegant fountain pen it is quite a cheap fountain pen I believe you can buy it um, for less than five dollars and um, I think that for this uh, sum of money it is um, a good fountain pen I've read that some people had issues with this uh, nib um, but uh, as you see I have no issues with it the only flaw I see is this ring that uh, tends to corrode in time because um, you can see the ink remains on it and it is a problem if you don't um, clean it after you ink it of course if you we will use ink cartilages this will, will no longer be a problem because you insert the cartilage and there's no way that the ink could ever reach that ring as you can see an elegant fountain pen I don't know how those uh, beautiful gold trims will hold in time but uh, now as a uh, practically new fountain pen it holds uh, quite well when I bought this fountain pen it wasn't uh, used but uh, it wasn't new maybe the person who owned it uh, didn't use this fountain pen uh, for a long period of time and uh, the gold trimmings resisted on um, it a nice fountain pen made in china as always thank you for watching my small review and i wish you to have a nice day and uh, hope uh, I will see you on the next fountain pen review